Okay, this next little tutorial is going to show you how to change the height and width of the window that the graphics go into, change where the turtle is going to start, how wide the line that is drawn is, the color, but also reuse something from earlier using the for loop, and then also being able to get a random color. So the code that we've got currently will run, sets it to 250 by 250, in the location, draws each side, well, first side with a red color, and then the other three sides with random colors. So in order to achieve this, what we have is an object called graphics window. This is basically the window that everything is drawn in. So you can just graphics window dot, it's got two, a lot of, a lot of other variables and attributes to it, width, background color, so we can set the width, let's say to the 700, do the same with the height. We can also change the background color. Let's say gray. And if we just quickly run that, oh, gray wasn't registered, so it's obviously picked up a black. Or if we ch chose yellow, we've got a bright yellow background. Now, turtle.x just jumps, moves the turtle instantly to that position on the canvas. Remember the top left corner is zero zero and then so x zero and we go across and then down to work out our position. Tilt up move, same as before. The for loop. This time, because we've already drawn one side I'm only doing three. This is where we introduce a new concept here. The graphics window, we have like pen width, where we can set how wide the pen is going to be. If I change that to 10, what we'll notice is the first one's going to be still quite half as thick at 5, and the next time it's going to be 10. The first side, not so thick, and the next one, twice as thick for that line. And it runs through. We also introduce a new object or method called get random color. So the graphics window has this procedure which we can just do get random color which will choose any random color from the color palette. If you look at slide 8 of the presentation it gives a whole bunch of different colors which we could actually you know type in the different names for it and we'll be able to produce out those colors. But we don't need to because we can just type it in. Okay that's going to conclude this little tutorial on basically changing the window size and also the size of the pen and the color of the pen.